We're tying tomatoes on Bloom and Grow YouTube show. Okay, plant friends, so we're back in the Fiala Farm Secret Garden tomato patch. I hope that you've watched the video of us planting this epic patch up. But mom, what are we doing today? Well, we cut yarn and when we planted our tomatoes we put stakes in near them and right now they are really wild wild <laughs> because i a have little too not, wild i have not tied them up my poor mother's rolling in her grave right now <laughs> but we are going to tie them up and tame the madness of the tomato patch the tomatoes have to be tied to stakes so that the leaves get good sunshine so they produce great fruit and the fruit becomes very heavy and will um, cause topple, the, the, plant topple the plant over and many times snap the stem. So you want to support the stem as best you can. So we have a stake and we're going to tie it to the stake with multiple knots. Okay, mom, so show us your tying technique that Nani taught you. I take the string, I tie it around the stem once while holding It's like a giro tondo while holding the stem so it has one loop around the stem and then I give it a little space I give it a little space because if the wind blows you don't want it to be tight against the stem you want to give it a little space and then I tie a basic double knot here one so you're giving it how much you're maybe giving it like a finger an space inch, a finger space just a little bit to move nice okay so that's how it stays. And now, and as now, the plant grows, I'm gonna you'll go keep higher, going higher and higher. And I'm gonna take another one, and I'm gonna go below the Y again. We have, be very careful, we have little flowers that are gonna give me fruit here. Okay, one more time, around the stem. Double knot. A little space there because that stem is also going to get thicker as it grows. Look at the size of the thickness of the stem at the base. Look at the size of the thickness of the stem at the top. That stem is going to get thicker as it grows so give it a little room. Okay, so we're gonna show a time lapse of stringing up the whole garden, but I wanted to show you, this is a perfect example of a tomato that we have let run a little bit too long. It's nice and tall, and it's actually creeping across the floor instead of growing up towards the light. So I am going to use this string, just like my mom taught us, and tie up this tomato plant, which actually has already set some really delicious looking fruit. It's not red yet, but we've got tons of flowers and probably, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cherry tomatoes already growing. I'm gonna fasten it to this bamboo stake to make sure that from now on, sorry little guy, sorry we're a little delayed, but from now on you're gonna go big and strong up to the sky, okay? No more, none of this floor business anymore. Good morning, plant friends. I am back nestled in the secret tomato patch of my mom's Fiala farm. I don't know if you can hear, but the birds are having such a party right now. <laughs> my mom has a bunch of bird feeders over there, the cardinals, we've got cardinals, finches. So they're gonna be chirping alongside me while I, while I uh, finish this video for you guys. But it's early in the morning, I came out. I um, love pruning suckers and just taking some time to smell them. The smell of tomato plants is my absolute favorite. There is just something so homey and comforting about just like 
sticking your face in a tomato plant and rubbing the rubbing the leaves and and smelling it and just enjoying enjoying watching these beautiful little yellow blooms turn into delicious tomatoes we've got a lot of a lot of stuff growing in the tomato patch so we've tied up the plants they're all doing really well um, it's just also such a relief to have them look so much more neat <laughs> because this was a little too wild before we tied everything up but another thing is and this is something that I didn't know when I was starting out but tomatoes need fertilizer because they are what's called heavy feeders meaning these tomato plants they get so big they make so much foliage they grow these like amazing little tomatoes and that takes a lot of stuff from the soil so it's important to fertilize throughout the summer throughout your growing period to replenish the soil to help your plants be able to uptake the nutrients that they need whether it's nitrogen potassium calcium a lot of times when your tomato plants get sick or have issues it's not necessarily the plant it could actually be the lack of nutrients in the soil so as you guys saw in the first video we made when we initially planted up the patch we used Espoma Organics Biotone Starter which has mycorrhizae in it which help the plant um, mycorrhizae are like little fungi that uh, like become really good friends with plant roots and help them not get sick, uptake water, uptake nutrients. There's a million things mycorrhizae do. But I am gonna go through now with a Spoma Organic Tomato Tone. Um, the instructions off the back is to use a cup per five feet in a row on either side. So I'm gonna go through, sprinkle some of this lovely smelling, uh, earthy smelling <laughs> tomato tone on the tomato patch and then give it a good water and hope that this helps replenish, give them a little, you know, a little replenishment in the midst of the season. Cause they're, they're growing insane. I mean, the amount that these tomatoes like double in size every time I come home to visit my mom, it's unbelievable. All right, so here we go. Another thing that I didn't know, and actually I want to share this with you because my friend has done this too. This She killed a cactus this way. Once you use a fertilizer like this that you, sp um, that you spread on top of the soil, it's really important to water it <laughs> right after. So the watering helps the fertilizer kind of absorb into the soil. So the bag says re-up your tomato tone or whatever fertilizer you're using, garden tone, bio tone, um, every couple of weeks, twice a month to make sure that our plant babies have all the food they need to thrive. Now I'm going to stop recording and actually just spend some real time with the tomato plants. So some people really believe in pruning suckers. Some people say you really don't have to. My mom is definitely on that side. I'm still creating my opinion. Um, but essentially the suckers, if this is the if this is the main stem and this is the main branch, a sucker is like a little plant that grows like that. And apparently from what I've read, um, if you prune off the sucker, it'll just kind of help reinvest energy into the plant to grow fruit or just continue to grow. So thank you to Espoma Organics for sponsoring this episode. I'm so happy to be using their products in Fiala Farm and my container garden all summer. And I will definitely give you an update with how the tomato patch continues to bloom and grow. Um, but right now I'm going to sign off and stick my nose in this foliage and prune some suckers and just have some me time, some alone time in the tomato patch. So I hope you find some alone time with your plants this week, plant friends. And until next time, keep blooming and keep growing. Do, 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 do.